Okay. <clears throat> In this lecture, we will really uh, carefully looking at this uh, Matthew five, chapter five, verse seventeen. And Jesus says this: Do not think that I have come to abolish the law. Abolish the law means what? Get rid of Moses' law, right? And, uh, and put into the what? In the trash can. We don't need Moses' law. We hate Moses' law. Jesus says, no. I did not come to abolish the law or prophets. Then why Jesus came? I have not come to abolish them, but to what? Fulfilled. Fulfilled. Fulfilled Moses law. That means what? If you throw away the Moses law, you cannot fill it up. So Moses law will stay here, and but it is not yet what filled up yet. Uh, in America, we uh, go to gas station when we discover that uh, gasoline is uh, not enough. Then we go there. What? Uh, how much? Uh, then we say, fill it up. <laughs> So, I need my gasoline tank to be what? Completely filled up. The Moses law is a kind of law which is not yet filled up. So, you cannot throw that away. So, it needs to be what? Filled up. So, now, we have to know, here in Jesus, say, what Jesus want to fill up? In, 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 in case of the car we drive, uh, filling, filling up means what? Filling gasoline tank to be filled up, right? In this case, what need to be filled up? That we have to know. And it's a, there is a very similar word. Uh, it's actually the same thing uh, uh, that we find. Romans chapter 3, verse 31. The Paul says this. Paul is keep on talking about, uh, by faith we become uh, uh, righteous, right? Uh, we don't, uh, we cannot be righteous by Obeying the law. So we can only be what? Righteous by faith, by believing Jesus saved me on the cross with his grace. So, <clears throat> so Paul says this. Do we then, do we then, just because we can be saved by the, uh, by faith, by believing Jesus, Saved me on the cross. So, so because of that, we throw the Moses law away. It says, it, Do we then make void of the law of Moses because of faith, through faith? Certainly not. No, we don't. No. On the contrary, we establish the law. It's a little bit different expression. Uh, what Jesus said. Jesus says, I came here to fulfill the law of Moses. But uh, Paul says, 
uh, law of Moses have to be what? Established. What this means, what? The laws of Mo or a law has not established something. Right? Because that's why Jesus came to establish the law of Moses. What Jesus want to establish? What Jesus want to fulfill? You know, fill the, uh, the tank up full. What is the name of that tank? What need to be established completely? So what Paul says is, with law of Moses, we cannot completely establish something. What Jesus says is, with Moses' law alone, the tank cannot be filled up. So I came here to fill up the what Moses' law could not fill it up completely. That's salvation. Salvation. Yeah. What it says is, with the law, uh, law of Moses alone cannot save the sinners. To save the sinner completely, Jesus has to come. Because what? Because we cannot obey the law of Moses. Because the law of Moses demands and requires what? Requires obedience. Obedience? Obedience in what way? Instinctive obedience by my nature. But our nature is instinctive sinner, sinful nature. So because, because of our nature is sinful, we are born simple, uh, sinful, we cannot obey the Moses law, which demands what? Instinctive obedience, not just obedience uh, on the surface. Our mind need to be what? Obedient. Our heart, entire heart, had to be obedient to the law of Moses. Can we do that? Uh -uh. Hmm. What? Well, uh, let's say there is a fourth commandment that says, Remember the Sabbath day and keep it, keep it holy. When I finally discovered that, it says what? You cannot keep the Sabbath because I'm not what? Holy. <laughs> but Moses' law says, keep it holy. So, the whole law is saying to us, what? you cannot, you cannot keep the, obey the law of Moses because you are a sinner. So, so, the first half was filled up in the tank. The name of tank is what? Salvation. Okay. Then second half, right? Has to come and fill it up. Then we are completely saved. Now, <clears throat> so, what, uh, what is the function of the law of Moses then? It need to, for us to be saved, we need Moses law. But by, by having Moses law, we discover what? I cannot be saved by myself. So it has to be done that way. Because when, uh, for you to discover, this is light. Wow! It, 
so bright. For you to feel that way, you have to be, you have to be in first, what? In the complete darkness. When you're in, you have been in complete darkness, then you can, when light comes, wow! But it, it was not complete darkness. I said, oh, oh, okay. It, 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 it became a little bit brighter than 10 minutes ago. <laughs> you know. That is not salvation. Salvation cannot be acquired that way. You, you know you are in what? Complete darkness. That's why. Uh, oh, you go to church, you're Christian. My goodness, you are a good boy. Uh -uh, good boy cannot be saved. <laughs> You have to know. I have to know as a sinner. I am. I was in complete darkness. Everybody else told me that I'm a good boy. However, you now have to realize you haven't been good boy at all. That is the requirement of the Moses law. So. <clears throat> So establish means what does uh, Paul talk about establishing uh, the Moses law need to be what established establish what establish salvation with the Moses law alone we become ready to be what saved. So that's what all Moses achieve for us. Moses' law cannot save us. It's impossible. Okay. Okay, now let's look at this. Now, I want you to remember the name of the tank to be filled up by Jesus is salvation. Okay? Now, the law of Moses is the law which is not yet filled. Fulfilled. Fulfilled means one. Uh, filled up fully. That's what it means. It needs to be fulfilled. So, now, what is the name of the container which is not yet fully filled up? The name of the container is what? Salvation. Okay. Now, now Paul says this in Galatians chapter 5, uh, uh, 14, for all the law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as thyself. The next word says, the Paul says, again, in the book of Romans, chapter 13, 9, the commandments, the commandments, commandments means what? The law of Moses. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are all summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. So, when you sum up all in one word, all the Moses law, you, you love your neighbor as yourself, which you can't do it. That's what Moses law says. Don't pretend that you can do it, please. <laughs> But, but so many Christians still pretend that, yes, we will keep the law. That's a big problem today. And, and then Romans chapter 13, next uh, verse, Paul says, Love does not harm to its neighbor. 
Therefore, love is the love is the what fulfillment of the law. Love finally what fills up the tank of the salvation, right? And uh, that that whose love, the love comes from Jesus. Need to be filled up. Uh, uh, need to be filling my tank called salvation. Then next verse, which is so I love this. Ah, uh, Romans chapter ten verse four. It says what? Here comes the what? The end. The end. The end of the law. Uh, when we go to movie, and finally, what it finished, and it says what the end of the movie. What is the end? Christ is. Christ is. What? The end of all the law. Aha. Completely sums up is what? Salvation is the Christ who finishes up. So Christ is the end of the law. Wow. Hallelujah. Right? Then we see the next word here. Uh, if you, uh, hmm. if you, very interesting, uh, so I, I realize that there is really, right? Uh, The James says, keep the royal law. Hmm. Obey, the, the, obey the royal law. What's a royal law means? Royal means is the highest, which means a king. King's law. Hmm. Uh, as a Christian, for us, it means what? God's law. Not the God gave, not the law, uh, which was given through a human being, Moses. The, the royal law, the highest law, which means, uh, uh, which is found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, then you're doing fine. If you don't do this, what? You have no hope. And James says this, if you keep, he didn't say, if you keep, uh, but James says, if you, what? Really keep. Can you keep it? That's what it says, actually. Okay, if you really give royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you're doing okay. You don't have to worry about the salvation. But really, can you keep it really? What James really says is what John says: you can't. Okay, we all cannot keep the Moses law. Because of what? Uh, we are a naturally born sinner, genetically sinner. We are hereditary sinner. We are a sinner by nature. Okay. Then James says, but you, you really keep the royal law, says what? Love your neighbor as yourself. You're doing right, okay. But, 
그러나, but if you show favoritism, if you show favoritism, we all do this, right? We all have, a, we love someone than someone else. We all, we are living in favoritism. Oh, I love that guy, but I, I hate that guy. <laughs> We all have this favoritism. We cannot love everybody as God does, right? But, but, if you show favoritism, you sin. So aren't we all living in the favoritism? That's why we cannot keep this love Moses. That's what uh, James is really emphasizing. You sin and are convicted by the law, Moses' law. So you know we cannot we 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 cannot uh, uh, obey the Moses' law. Then James says, uh, verse ten, for whoever keeps the whole law, yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. Hmm. So, uh, James is really saying what? We all cannot keep Moses' law at all. This is why, what? So that, what James says, we are all living in what? Complete darkness. There's no law. No salvation. Then light shined from the heaven, from Jesus, from the cross. Wow! It is grace. Nothing to do with the law. Because we cannot obey that. So God gave law of Moses to what? To establish, completely establish the salvation. That's why Paul says in the book of Galatians, this very, very powerful word. All who rely on observing the law are under curse. Wow. Isn't that truth? We cannot keep Moses' law, but you're, you are relying on your observation or your obedience to the law of Moses. You are under curse. Yeah, you're doing what something which is what totally impossible. So isn't that curse? You're gonna die. You cannot be saved that way because of your nature, sinful nature. So it is written. Uh, cursed is everyone who does not continue to do, continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Continue to do means what? Uh, uh, keep obeying the law is completely your nature. By nature, we cannot obey the law. Because our nature is a simple nature. Our nature is totally contrary to God's nature, which is love. Yeah. So, because none can obey the law instinctively and continually. That's our situation. So, therefore, all who rely all who rely on observing the law are under curse. Wow. So that's why, but 
That's why no man, uh, that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, right? Yeah. It is evident. It's so clear for the just shall live by faith. It is faith on Jesus Christ only. We can be just. We can be righteous. It's so clear. It's so simple. Mm. Okay. So it's actually in Old Testament. Uh, Moses himself said this. Cursed is the one who does not confirm all the word in this world. Oh. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, this is in Korean. <laughs> now, the Moses need, uh, Moses law need to be need to be completed or fulfilled or completely established because even the Moses law is given for us to be what saved so god gave the law of moses for us to be what saved for us to finally what accept Jesus, the grace of Jesus revealed on the cross, right? So, <clears throat> and now, there is Moses' law says what? Circumcise. So, all Jewish people circumcise. And that saves Jewish people because they got circumcised. Uh -oh. The circumcision, mm, just the circumcision on the body cannot save. So Paul says, for neither circumcision nor uncircumcision Uncircumcision is anything, no, anything, nothing. That means Moses' law cannot save us. Uh, keeping the Moses' law cannot save us. Why? Because we can't. We can't. Uh, because of our sinful nature. Mm. Uh, but what's, what is the most important thing? For salvation, but uh, what? New creation is everything. New creation is everything. New creation means what? Newly, newly created, not this creature. When when we are in Christ. We become what? A new creation. Okay. Uh, in Korean, it's, it, it is uh, translated in Korean Bible, uh, new, cre new creature. But uh, uh, let's take a look at in the Bible. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, uh, he is, he is a what? New creation. So we are final. Our final uh, 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 destination is what? New creation. So, since our final destination is new creation. And also, as, as far as we are in the Christ, in the faith, in the love of Jesus, 
and we're living with this kind of wonderful promise of God, which we call, uh, the Bible says, a new covenant. So we're living with this new promise, new covenant, uh, and we are staying in the Christ continually. We can stay in the Christ continually. Then, as far as, far as you are not what keeping it up to stay in Christ, but you you want to be staying in Christ all the time because you are you are considered. You are reckoned as what new creation, which we will become for sure, right? Why? Because it is God's promise, who will ne never break His promise. So that's that's our final goal. So. The law of Moses, which command the people to do the circumcision, means it is it's God's promise. God is promising that you are a sinful human being with a sinful body. However, I promise you that I will make you what? New creation. Please believe this. As long as you're believing in this, my promise, I consider you. I reckon you. You are new creation. Wow. Yeah. And so, and then the old has gone and new has come. Wow. New, my new, new, new self, okay, which will be what the equal to the angel. We are no longer have this material, physical body at all. We will be like a spirit. Okay, so that's why God says that we are gods. Because you have the word of God, Spirit. So now we go back. For neither circumcision nor uncircumcision, uh, Paul is using uh, the circumcision uh, to. Uh, represents uh, law of Moses, okay? Uh, but new creation is everything. Uh, so, because you simply keeping the law of Moses, you think you can obey, and you're obeying the law of Moses. You're not gonna be a new creation. You have to be what? You have to be receiving. Holy Spirit, and finally Holy Spirit comes into your heart, and then Holy Spirit circumcise your heart. Then, so Moses' law is simply uh, uh, Moses' law means it is what uh, God is. I am promising you. I promise you, I'll keep this uh, promise uh, with my what? With my son. Therefore, because since you cannot circumcise your heart yourself, that's why you're going to have to die according to Moses' law. Huh? Because you, you don't born, if you have not born, you don't born again, you die. Because you're a sinner, you're destined to die. And that's why, my son, since you cannot circumcise your own heart by yourself, you'll die. Therefore, 
I will die for you. Then I'll give you Holy Spirit, and that, that Holy Spirit will circumcise your heart. Then salvation is what? Complete. So, that's what Paul says in uh, Hebrew chapter 7, 18. There is on the one hand the, the abrogation of an earlier commandment, which means Moses' law, because it was weak and ineffectual. The Moses' law was not strong enough to save. Okay, it was weak and ineffectual. Uh, Moses' law cannot save anybody. For so, for the law made nothing perfect. Uh, this means same thing. The law, uh, Moses' law, uh, Moses' law made nothing perfect. That means Moses' law cannot make anyone perfect. Cannot make anyone perfect means he cannot make anyone to be saved. Okay. So we need. We need Moses' law to be saved, but we cannot be saved by Moses' law. Uh, to have a complete salvation, we need Moses' law first, which is the old commandment or first covenant, says. So, but the ministry of Jesus was has received as a superior to theirs as the covenant of which which is mediator is superior to the old one and it is found on the better uh, founded on better promises for if there had been nothing wrong with that first covenant, first covenant means Moses' covenant, so uh, no place would have been sought for another. If Moses' law was what? Good enough for the salvation, then there's no need we don't need anything else than Moses' law. However, Moses' law was what? Ineffectual. It's weak to save anything, uh, anybody. That's why we needed to have what? The second, not the first. We needed the first covenant anyway to accept what? The second covenant, which is Jesus promise of the grace of salvation. Then, the, but God found fault, <laughs> this is a very strong word, God found fault with the people, uh, <clears throat> says, time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, uh, with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers. So this means what? The covenant I made with their forefathers, uh, their ancestors in the, uh, uh, in the, <clears throat> in the Sinai mountain. Okay, uh, the Moses law. Uh, it will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers through Moses. I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, uh, because they did not remain faithful to my covenant, and I turned away from them, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, 
here. I did not, uh, they did not remain faithful to my covenant. Now, this is a very important point. The first covenant is the law, uh, law of Moses. Uh, the Paul writes that the, the Israelites in the wilderness, they were not faithful. God did not say, they did not obey, or they did not act. They were not what? Faithful. Uh, so, the law of Moses is, is what? Our object to have what? Faith on it. Not the what? The God required action. Right? Uh, God wanted the Israelites to have a trust on that what? Promise of God, which is the law of Moses. But they thought what? They did not think that the circumcision was the promise of the born again. They simply thought what? But you, you, you cut this, the skin off. Okay, we did it. That's why we obey the law, God. Aren't we good enough to be saved? No, that was not the way. It's not, obe not the obedience with, with what? It's simply the word by word. It was a spirit, spiritual born again. That is what spiritual uh, circumcision. The spiritual circumcision is actually what to become by the power of God a new creation. That's what it is. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, uh, the, here the word faithful is very important. So, the Jewish people did not have a faith on the what promise of God. They did not believe in the promise, but they are simply what trying to act according to the what command instead of promise. They all everybody else in, in Jewish people at that time thought, oh, yes, you command this to us, yes, we will do it. Instead of what? Okay, God, we will believe what you promised to us. That was, that was the biggest mistake uh, the problem uh, Jewish people had. So let us not make that kind of a mistake again. The Israelites made, you know, the huge mistake. But yet, many Christians in this world, even today, they feel what? The Moses law was the command of God. And yet, we, therefore, we still argue. Yes, we need to keep the Moses law. Uh, or there's a, no, we don't need to keep the Moses law anymore. We have to know it was, in fact, we, it was impossible for us to keep it. If you know this truth, then you don't have to argue that kind of uh, funny argument, actually. Because you have to keep it, or you don't have to keep it, all means what? All uh, pre, uh, there is a preposition that uh, what? We all can uh, obey Moses' law, right? But uh, what Bible says is, you guys cannot. We need to obey. Uh, we need to remember that. We are kind of sinner. We can't obey the Moses' law at all. That's why we needed Christ for him to keep 
Moses' law, obey the Moses' law for us. Instead of, I, we, uh, 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 instead of ourselves, right? So, that's why we are saved. So, therefore, please, let's not argue anymore. We have to keep, or we don't have to keep. Okay, that's uh, as long as you you're keeping arguing on this point, uh, then you still don't know really. You still think yourself, yeah, I can I can keep the law. No, uh, uh, uh. that's not true. We can't. We're the sinner. We're the born sinner by nature. We cannot obey. God's law. Okay. That's why we need grace. So that's why uh, Paul says what? Uh, I cannot obey Moses' law. Now, what? I can only obey whose law? Law of Christ. Let's look at this and uh, I'll be done. Okay. Uh, in him also you were circumcised, the spiritual circumcision. Wow. Uh, a spiritual circumcision. Spiritual circumcision. By putting off the body of the flesh, which, uh, which is what? The circumcision of Christ, not the circumcision of Moses. So, instead of uh, obeying what? Uh, the law of Moses, we obey what? The law, not the law of Moses, law of, the process, the circumcision of the Christ, and then circumcision of Moses is Moses' law. The circumcision of Christ is according to law of Christ. That's right. Uh, to bear one another's burdens, and this means what? Uh, love one another, right? So bear one another's burdens, and in this way, by loving each other, you will fulfill the law of Christ. So there is law of Moses was given first, filled up in the tank at the beginning, but it was not. It cannot be completely filled up for salvation. Then we need what the law, the law of Christ, come in, filled up rest of the what the empty space of the tank. Now our salvation is complete. It is it is completely finished. Mm.